this is Dr. Anita Mishra from Biani Girls College. Today I am here to deliver a video lecture on biotechnology and different career opportunities in biotechnology. First, I would like to tell you what is biotechnology. Actually, biotechnology is a branch of science which is a combination of two, we, we can say this term is a combination of two terms, biology and technology. Biology is the study of living organisms, whether they are plants, animals, or microorganisms and technology is using the scientific knowledge for human welfare. So we can say biotechnology is a branch of science in which we use the knowledge about living organisms whether they are plants, animals or microorganisms for human benefit. Okay? We can define biotechnology as a very broad branch as an indisciplinary branch in which we can use the knowledge about living organisms plants, animals and microorganisms, the processes are occurring in these organisms and the products obtained from these organisms for the use of human being that is actually the biotechnology. In biotechnology purposefully we alter the living organisms for our own benefit and this is a misconception that biotechnology is a very new branch. Biotechnology is not actually a very new branch, it is a very old uh, branch of science and actually uh, the technology by which we produce cheese, yogurt, bread, beer and wine uses the process of fermentation that occurs in living organisms and this has been used from very ancient times. Okay? And some other examples of uh, biotechnology that we are using from very old times are plant and animal breeding technologies in which we breed the desired type of plants and animals together to produce a desired character of plants and animals. Okay? We uh, carry out the domestication of animals to um, use these animals for our own purpose that is also biotechnology because here we are using animals for our own benefit. Okay? With the use of traditional medicines like honey, okay and other medicines that are used from herbals that are used from plants okay they are also included in the biotechnology because here we are obtaining we are using the product of plant for, for our own benefit and that is all we can say it as biotechnology and the production of penicillin which was discovered by alexander fleming in 1928 it is an antibiotic an antibiotic was discovered uh, in 1928 by Alexander Fleming. This penicillin antibiotic is also an example of biotechnology because here the penicillin is producing a product that we can use for destroying the disease causing bacteria. So that is also a bi example of biotechnology. So there are so many examples which show that biotechnology is not a new branch, it is a misconception that biotechnology is a new branch. Biotechnology is actually we are using from very ancient times, but now we know biotechnology as a separate branch of science. Nowadays we are studying biotechnology as a separate branch of science. So we recognize biotechnology today and that's why biotechnology has become a very popular field of science these days. Okay? So I would like to tell you what are the different uh, branches that we uh, study under the biotechnology. Okay? These are agriculture biotechnology, medical biotechnology, bioinformatics, environmental biotechnology, biotechnology is also used in food and dairy industry, biotechnology in forensic sciences. Okay? Now first is agricultural biotechnology. Agriculture biotechnology is actually using the biotechnology knowledge about the living organisms for our own agricultural purposes. For creating such crops which are more productive, we can use biotechnology for producing uh, such an livestock, such animals which can give us more productivity, more, more milk productivity, we can use biotechnology. Okay? In this case, agriculture, in this case of agriculture biotechnology, we can use uh, uh, we can go up to the DNA level, we can manipulate the genetic material to produce our own desired variety of plant and animals to increase the productivity from plants and animals. 
and plant tissue culture is a very important example which is used nowadays used in agriculture biotechnology in plant tissue culture actually what we do we produce plant from parts other than the seeds we can produce disease free plants in a large number of quantity we can produce such plants of particular desired character in a large number in very short time span by using tissue culture technology which is a type of technology included under the biotechnology in this technology we can use any part of the plant to produce a whole plant that is called the plant tissue culture technology so in ag agriculture biotechnology we can use genetic engineering technology to manipulate the dna and we can use the plant tissue culture and also animal cell uh, technology animal cell culture technology now next is the medical biotechnology in my medical biotechnology generally we use biotechnology uh, knowledge about the microorganisms to diagnose the diseases that uh, are occurring in the organism production of vaccines production of antibodies from by using the biotechnological technologies we use the drug delivery technology we, uh, we use animal cell culture technology to study or animal models to study the effect of drug on a particular organism under the branch of medical biotechnology so in by medical biotechnology we can innovate different type of drugs we can cure different diseases and we can diagnose different diseases by medical biotechnology now bioinformatics is another branch of biotechnology that is a interdisciplinary field in which we involve biotechnology as well as computer technology okay in bio, uh, in this technology we use the softwares and different programs to study uh, dif we create the different programs to uh, create to uh, we different we use different databases to create knowledge about the organisms and uh, to interpret that knowledge to uh, to devise a new knowledge okay we can uh, uh, we can by using the soft by using different softwares we can uh, diagnose whether the particular drug will be effective on a particular organism uh, whether if we manipulate the dna of a particular organism we can produce a desired type of organism so bioinformatics is the bi branch of biotechnology in which we use databases to produce a uh, biological knowledge and use that bi biological knowledge for producing our own desired type of plants in organisms okay now next is environmental biotechnology in environmental biotechnology we use biotechnology to treat the environmental problems nowadays pollution is a major problem so we can use biotechnology to reduce the problem of pollution we can use biotechnology for producing uh, renewable sources of energy actually nowadays non renewable sources of energy are exhausted very uh, they are going to exhaust soon in coming years like petroleum diesel coal they are present in very less quantity and they can exhaust in coming soon in coming years so we can use biotechnology for uh, producing re renewable sources of energy from biomass what is biomass biomass is microorganisms biomass is a uh, large quantity of plants that can be used by uh, to produce biofuels in environmental biotechnology we can use we can produce biofuels in future which can replace the non renewable resources of energy okay now biotechnology is also used in food and dairy industry now in food and dairy industry generally microbial inoculants are used and these microbial inoculants are used to enhance the taste quality and shelf life of food we can use the technology in packaging technology also in packaging methods also to increase the shelf life of food to maintain the quality of the food so biotechnology also can be used in food and dairy industry now next is the forensic biotechnology forensic biotechnology is also a major branch of biotechnology in forensic science actually we use the information of the dna 
actually DNA in the different organisms, all living organisms is different. So, we can use the DNA present in any in the serum, in the uh, saliva found at the crime site or here, here or some cell, uh, cells found at the crime site to uh, devise or to diagnose that or to examine that, that DNA be belongs to the particular person. So, in forensic biotechnology by using the information of DNA, we can identify the criminals, okay? we can identify the particular person. Now, these are the different branches of the biotechnology. Now, what are the different career opportunities in biotechnology? Different career opportunities in biotechnology are like an, an, a particular student who opts, opts for biotechnology, he can become agriculture scientist. If he performs research in agricultural biotechnology, he can become a forensic scientist, he, can, or, he or she can become a food scientist or technologist in food and dairy industry, soil or plant scientists to devise different uh, types of technologies which can increase the uh, crop productivity, which can remove the contamination from soil, which can examine the soil content, which can examine the heavy metal content in the soil. He can become an environmental biotechnologies to reduce the environmental problems. So, these are the different career options. Uh, student can, a biotechnology student can opt. And we get the fund for research from different uh, institute, different governmental institute like IITs and Department of Sci Science and Technology DST which is situated in New Delhi is a major institute which provides form, fund for research purpose. So, there are many different uh, uh, options that we can opt for biotechnology and Biotechnology is a very vast field, very interesting field, so and very useful field nowadays which can provide different products for human welfare. I think, I hope I you would like my video and you have understood what is biotechnology, what are different branches of biotechnology and what are different career options in biotechnology. Thanks for watching my video. Keep watching GuruKPA.com. Thank you.